In this video we will be implementing a ladder in the game and you can use the ladder by walking onto it and then pressing a use button and then you'll be able to climb up or down um, so as you can see here we can start from the bottom here and climb all the way up through the platform and land on the platform and now we can't go through the platform but if we click the ladder we will be able to climb down the ladder again and as you can see here he is only animated when we're moving so that's also something we'll be implementing so that when he's standing still he's not moving or animated but the moment when we start climbing here he will be using his um, climb animation and as you can see here if i go to the side he will fall off the ladder um, and i will also be able to use uh, press the use button here to fall off if i use the use button again then i'll fall off the ladder um, so yeah that's basically what we will be doing in this video um, I am going to release the videos one by one, so all the videos um, are already available for patrons. Um, so if you are a patron and the videos haven't been released, then simply go to the patron page to watch the rest of the videos and download the sprites and of course the, the, the project files for this project. Uh, also, if you're interested in the ladder sprite here, there's also a link to that sprite in the description below. So the first thing we'll have to do is to add the ladder to the actual project and when you have downloaded the ladder you can go to your sprites folder and find the object folder here and then just take the ladder and drag it into the folder. Remember to check that it is set as text the texture type is set as sprite 2D and UI and the sprite mode is single. Okay. So we will need to add the ladder to the game. So you can simply take the ladder from the sprite folder and drag it into the scene and when you have done that the ladder will appear here and then you can simply hold down shift or select the tool to the far right hold down shift and stretch the ladder out a little from the corner and then I would like my ladder to go a little up because when my character um, let's see if I can find the player here when he's down here and he starts climbing well when he starts climbing, it will look like he's climbing in the air. If I just select the climb sprite here to show you, then you'll see if he walks along here, do do like this, and then he starts climbing, then it looks like he grabs the air. So to prevent this, we'll have to select the ladder again and then grab the top of the ladder and drag it all the way up here so that it looks like he's grabbing the ladder. Right now it looks like the ladder is on top of the player and we're not interested in that. We want it to be uh, uh, behind the player. So order and layer can be set to minus one. And when the order and layer has been set to minus one, well, then the player should be ahead of it all the time because the player is or is zero. If some of your things goes up, uh, in front of the um, what's called in front of the ladder, as you can see at the platform here is minus one as well. Well, then you can simply select your platform and put it as minus two instead or something or, or something lower. And also I would like my push to be in front of it. So it's one. And as you can see, the ladder here goes a little below the push. Uh, we're not interested in that either. Just drag it a little up so you can't see it. Um, yeah. With that in place, our player should be able to walk in front of the ladder up here. And also down here, you should be able to walk behind the bush and in front of the ladder and climb up the ladder like this. So now we have added the ladder to the game. Okay, so right now uh, our ladder is simply placed outside the world, but we would like to place it um, inside our world object here so that it's easier for us to handle all, all the objects. So you can simply select the ladder and then drag it into the world here. So it's a child object of world. You can also put it as a child object of the platform that it, it's moving to or it's uh, directing to if you want to. So you can put it under the medium platform. Is that what you want? Um, yeah, but that's up to you. Anyway, right now our player is only able to move uh, left and right. So we, we can't move up and down What we and that's what we actually need to do. Because we can only move like this and we will need to move up and down. So let's try to give him the ability to fly. That's basically what we're doing when we're going up the ladder. So when we can fly around, <coughs> sorry, when we can fly around, then we can make sure that he can only fly when he's at the ladder to go up and down here. Uh, 
So to make the play player able to fly or to move in the um, uh, vertical direction here, we will have to open up our player script. And inside the player script, we'll need to indicate uh, something, or you know, need some kind of indicator so that we know if he can fly or not. So we can make a new property down here. Public bool called on ladder. So this on ladder here indicates if our player can uh, is on the ladder, and if he's on the ladder, well then we are able to move up and we are able to move down. But when he's off the ladder, well then we can't move up and down. So if we go to our start function, we can simply say on ladder equals true. So the reason that we are putting it to true here is because we need to test if this works before we actually enable it by clicking the ladder. So this is simply just the test phase where we are uh, adding the functionality. Um, and then later we are um, limiting the functionality so we can only use it when we are on the ladder. So when you have added that boolean and um, set it to true, we will have to go to our, um, let's see, handle movement function here. So in our handle movement function, we will need to make sure that we can um, use the on ladder boolean so that we can move up and down. So in the if statement here, we can write if on ladder. So if we are on the ladder, well, then we need to move um, up and down. So we can say my rigid body dot velocity equals new vector two. First of all, we need to be able to move um, left and right. So we can just say horizontal multiplied by. Okay, so right now we only have our movement speed, but maybe we would like our player to move in another speed when he's climbing because maybe it goes slower when you climb up a ladder than when you're running. So we actually have to add a new field called climb speed as well as we have movement speed. So we need to go to the top here and let's see where do we have our movement speed speed is up in our character and it's only our player that can climb so let's just make a private float called a movement speed like climb speed, climb speed so this is going to be our climb speed and let's just serialize it so that we can actually see it from our our inspector so we can set it out there and then we can go back down here to our um, handle movement function and multiply with climb speed. So this is this enables us to move in the x and y um, x and y no the x um, x direction with horizontal. Now we need a vertical because we need to go up and down, which means that we need to add another uh, parameter here. So float vertical. When we have done that, we can say vertical um, multiplied by climb speed. So now we are able to move left and right and up and down if we are on the ladder here, because our rigid body velocity is set, uh, gets its uh, x and y um, um, value set here. So now it's going to complain here. Um, first of all, this is the code for using the buttons on the screen. I'm just going to out comment that because I'm not going to use the buttons. If you're using on screen buttons, well then simply add an up and down button um, and then call that one here. But I'm going to use the keyboard. So handle movement takes in horizontal, which we are creating up here. But we will also have to create a vertical now. So we can make flo float vertical equals input uh, input dot get access vertical. So now we just read the vertical axis and saved it in this vertical value. So we can say vertical down here. So now our vertical axis is also put into our handle movement. So let's try to save this and then take our player and find the player script up here. And I'm not sure if you can see this for my webcam. Um, let's see, can we move this up? That wouldn't help. Anyway, on um, there's something called climb speed. There's a value called climb speed. Maybe I can move it over here actually so you can see it. 
yeah here we have a climb speed value here and it's zero and we will need to increase that so that it goes faster when he climbs of course so try to put it at five maybe it's a little fast and if we play the game now you'll see that you can move upwards but he's falling downwards all the time and that's because w when we are um, we have our gravity on he will of course fall towards the ground but at the same time we are able to move upwards so it's falling very very slow so these two forces are actually working against each other so what we actually need to do is to disable his rigid body's um, gravity scale here when we are climbing the ladder so this is not something we are going to do from the script right here because it's not until we are climbing the ladder that we'll be doing this but you can set the gravity scale to zero now just to test and then play the game again and then you should be able to fly around like this up and down uh, as you want to so if you think the speed is too slow then you can increase it if it's too fast you can decrease it of course um, but when you have set on ladder added the rigid body velocity and removed the gravity scale from your um, rigid body then you should be able to fly around like this Okay, so now we have tested that the movement up and down works, so we can just go back to our rigid body, set the gravity scale to 1, because we need we need to do this from a script at some point. And yeah, that's basically it. Let's just move the inspector back here. So that is basically the setup of uh, us being able to climb the ladder. Um, so I'm going to end this video here. In the next video, we will make sure that we can use the ladder to climb it. So we can't just fly around like we do now, but we will be able to click the ladder and then we should be able to fly around. Um, and I will make the functionality a little general so that we can actually reuse the use functionality. Let's say we want a door later in the game. Well, then we can just use the same functionality for clicking that door. So the player just has a use button and no matter what item he clicks on, it will... Um, work depending on the item type for example if we click the ladder he will climb the ladder if you click a door well then we'll climb the door if he clips a handle it will flip over the handle or whatever we need to do so by the way um, the release dates of the videos are in the description below if you're interested um, and also thank you for coming with all the requests for the videos um, this ladder uh, functionality is actually a request that lots of people have asked uh, about um, so yeah just keep those requests coming uh, so thank you for watching and remember that InScope Studios is a community founder page so if you want to support me you can do it in different ways you can click the top link to support me on Patreon and if you go there you can see some different perks and everything you can get for example you can get all the project that I've made um, and if you click one of the bottom, link, bottom links you can get this project or any of my other projects that I have um, I've created for all my tutorials also don't forget to like my Facebook page follow me on Twitter and subscribe to this channel if you like my uh, videos also it will be a very big help to me if you actually want to share my videos on social media and such so thanks for watching